hello everyone welcome to my channel and yeah you guys today um i'm creating this quick video because it was a couple people that was concerned about me and um they asked a couple of questions and i thought it was nice and i do feel good that someone actually like y'all you know some of you actually notice things um even way back when i first started doing youtube um actually someone that watched my video actually told me about my thyroid that w it was swollen which i had just seen a doctor and um it's good to have someone that uh, uh or people to watch your channel and actually notice something that you may not notice or you may not realize or you might know it you just haven't talked about it so um i'm going to respond to um the questions mainly or just explain um what <laughs> um what you all actually seen okay but one thing i'm not sure about i'm currently um talking to the doctor about okay so let's talk about the scar on my chest <laughs> okay that was shown um when i created the valentine's day edition uh fashion friday video and i knew that it was showing but it was early in the morning i thought uh you know if somebody asked about it i would just answer their questions as to what happened there and i'm going to show it just a little bit with that hopefully i don't get in trouble but in case some of y'all did not see it's not really that big it's just that when I had when I started all the weight gain after moving into this apartment after I had the eye injury and everything that I've been through concerning it I gained weight and so the scar of course if you're gonna get like I gained weight in my breast area as well as my body so the scar looks really huge now but honestly the the surgeon that did what the procedure that i'm about to tell y'all um the scar really isn't no more not even that long and it's very very minimum it's just my breast has gotten larger um through all of this that i've been through um here in this terrible wicked apartment but anyways you guys okay just get into the facts real quick uh what happened was when i was in high school i think i was Mm, y'all know I was in high school it's like my um 12th grade year I was getting ready to graduate I noticed that when I was shower I showered one morning and I noticed that there was like a little bump there and I remember going what is that what is that and so I got done taking a shower and fixing myself for school and I came, I got out of the shower and I told my mom, I said, come here, mom, um, there's a bump here. And she was like, what? Um, and she came in there and she kind of touched it and just kind of looked at it. And she said, oh, okay, you're going to, we're going to have to go see somebody about that. Because if it does not go down, you know, because we didn't know exactly what it was what it was we were kind of like well might have to go see the doctor but let's see what if it'll go down or whatever uh, she was thinking it was those you know i forget what you call them i should know the name of this but you know how you can get inflammation and sometimes people develop like a bump and it kind of supposed to absorb inflammation and then it goes away on its own um it's a name for that but i can't recall so i think uh my mom was thinking it was something like that so i went ahead and finished my 12th grade year however that little lump never went away it never went away so i had to go see a specialist um i went and saw the specialist he took a look at it and he said okay we're gonna have to remove it it is a cyst and we need to do surgery and we can have surgery in about two days okay that's how quick and that's a good thing okay um so i had to go through the procedure i had surgery 
and it was removed and it was non-cancerous i thank god over and over and over so that is what the scar is on my um chest well right here where my breast is located that's what this is that's just where they cut my skin and remove the cyst okay that's what happened right there okay um now let's get to the leg area okay um if any of you have watched my shella beauty essence channel then you would know all about this um i started having water retention problems back in i think it was 2015 yes 2015 no 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 it was 2014 2013 y'all yeah 2013 and um so i had to you know of course go to some specialists um i've been to a few specialists and so i lost the the water weight okay i lost the water weight i even lost a lot of weight like you know when you get water gain like it it is really really bad like you will like get so big like <laughs> it's not healthy you don't feel good so i had to take diuretics and of course plus god help okay um i lost all the water weight i lost a lot of weight i felt better i was doing good all these years up until now now since i moved into this apartment there's been a few little things i've had to do extra and there's some things that has happened to my body and i've mentioned this before and i'm going to say it again this apartment is so wicked um and even i have the freedom of speech to say this um my surroundings you know what I'm talking about are not in my opinion who I would want to be around um I just know some things about some of these people and I can't wait to leave I want y'all to know I have put in two applications for an apartment so and I'm gonna put in another one but hopefully i'm just wanting i'm waiting on one to call me very soon because i will be moving um because i've never had so much trauma as i've had in this apartment let me just go back a little bit before i talk about my legs i came into this apartment at a healthy weight size okay doing very well looking good and i stepped into this apartment and my world was just like like I got sick instantly from sickness to um like I told y'all um uh, I haven't told y'all over here but on my Shella Beauty Essence channel I mean I started to get very sleepy I couldn't understand it I went got tests done everything came out fine from there then my eye injury that big bump in my eyelid and my other eyes swelled up then from there it was just like y'all it's been so many things i've been from doctor to doctor to specialist to specialist you know um just making sure i'm okay you know making sure i'm all right and getting things tested and I thank the Lord so far everything has been okay but I do need to lose some weight because I know that this is not healthy for my ear condition if you have a condition I've talked to y'all about it. I have an inner ear problem um, so that's why sometimes I talk really loud I know y'all noticed that but <laughs> I'm not that old yet but I'm just letting you know I do have an inner ear problem so it's not good when you have a condition or a situation going on um it's good to try to maintain a healthy weight and in general even if you don't have a condition i think it's very important and healthy to try to stay in a healthy range of weight size and but i was plus size when i came in here so just let you know i wasn't 
skinny but I was at a size that was good for me where when I get up when I move around when I do things it didn't stress me out or I didn't feel like I was exhausted so I was doing good okay but I was still a little overweight but not as much as, as I am today but I have to say this I have lost some weight. I noticed in my Taylor Tuesday video yesterday that the skirt, even when I put it on, I was shocked. It like really literally slid on, like it slid on. And if you look at that skirt, you can tell I've lost some weight because it has some extra room. And that was a bodycon skirt. So it was supposed to fit my body. And that was a size 18. So I'm hoping that I'm at a 16. Because that would be like, ah, like one of those moments like, oh, I'm back. I'm back. You know, one of those moments, okay? So, um, I'm a plus size girl and that's just how it is. I've always been curvy. Even when I was in school and in my 20s, okay, I was curvy, but I was small, but I always had them hips and thighs, okay, so I'm going to always be a curvy and um, a, a curvy girl, okay, I'm plus size, so anyways, let me just get to the leaves, okay, this was a question about, um, Someone noticed the little, like, green, blue area in the back of my leg. Well, I had been to the vein specialist about seven months ago. They already wrote me and I've already scheduled an appointment for me to come back. Um, I have to get my veins checked. Um, I get them checked every year due to the water retention problem. Um... So I went to that appointment and he had mentioned to me that um, varicose veins, you guys. Um, but he felt like I didn't need to do procedure then and he gave me, told me to keep taking diuretics. And of course I have like little, um, you can probably see the little swollen areas. Like it's so much better though, y'all. I'm losing the weight. You wouldn't believe how big I used to be. Um, I don't know if y'all can see this. But if you look here, stand back. If you look right here, there's a big, like, area here. And a little one over there. So, uh, usually that be like that because I still have a little water. Um, but it's not like, like my feet is not swollen, so I know it's getting in control. But also, I want y'all to know that I do have an inflammation problem. Of course I do. I have a swollen thyroid, and it's, it's called basically thyroiditis, you know, okay, swollen thyroid. So I'm having inflammation issues, and so I've, um, I'm thinking about... Um, checking with the well I'm about to yes I have to reschedule the appointment because I got sick when I was supposed to go see a doctor concerning my legs a specialist um, that knows more about things like that inflammation of the legs or something inflammation wise or whatever so I've got to reschedule for that appointment and so it's so much you guys <laughs> I'm serious. Like this house is so evil. Um, it's wicked. I uh, I wish I had never moved into this apartment, this place where I live at. But at the same time, I know that I my faith is in God and Jesus. I know that they will keep me because they did when I was at my lowest, and that was when I had the eye injury. Um so I don't want to get back into that, but yeah, you guys, um, there is an inflammation problem going on. So now I think a lot of the swelling is inflammation. I don't think it's all water because I was taking diuretics and I noticed a difference between the first time I had water retention problem 
it was like I could tell I really had that problem because I was going and going and going to pee and you know <laughs> just going and going and going this time around it's like I could take a, you know a diuretic and it's like I may pee just a little bit and then it stopped and I was like maybe I don't need to take this like maybe this is not water maybe this is just swelling inflammation so I'm thinking I'm having inflammation problems but I would have to see a specialist first before I say you know that 100% um, even going back to the vein specialist, like I do have an appointment the first week of March to go back and I guess he'll see because this, this green blue era, which is my vein, I guess, um, that wasn't there like seven months ago. It developed sometime between the visit from the vein specialist till now. And I think it just developed like probably last month, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe two weeks. No, it was, it's been about two weeks, two or three weeks is when I noticed like it was kind of sore there. So um, not nothing bad because I did go to the ER the other day because I didn't know I want to make sure that wasn't a blood clot. I did go to the ER. The doctor checked my leg and he said, no, that's not um a blood clot that is a varicose vein okay so i know now by two doctors so if you're noticing like little things like that that's what that is and y'all got to understand too um i've been through a lot uh y'all would not believe and i don't want to get into that but y'all know i've talked about it several times i've been through a lot and i had a lot of break-ins um for a long time now we're talking about five years okay um a little more over five years five plus years um when i moved away like from home and as a single mom that's when i um experienced a lot of break-ins um yeah my first time moving out of <laughs> not being in a house full of people first time ever was when I became a single mom and then people just started breaking into my home and doing a lot of things you guys that harmed my body but let's don't get into that but anyways you guys so yeah so basically um I got appointment to see the vein doctor or specialist the vein specialist um, which is a vascular specialist um, come first week of March which is just like two weeks away so he will take a look at this and we'll talk about what treatment or what I need to do or what not and then as far as these spots now this is something that just happened last week I'm telling you I just thought I woke up early in the morning and now I want to say this I did have a few spots or a few scars on my legs previous like from my puppy and stuff like that when she was small and but they were like lightening up it wasn't really bad but these little spots that you see like these little they're not sores um um because when I went to the ER doctor, um, he looked at it and everything. He asked me a couple of questions health-wise. And I told him no, that I've not been diagnosed with uh, like the things that he asked me. And he looked at it and he said he, he didn't give me anything. I asked him was he going to give me cream because this is what happened. I woke up uh, one early morning and my legs felt like they were burning. And it was like a burning sensation. But it was an itchy burning sensation. Just my legs. From my knee down. Okay. So you when that first but happens. You can't help but like settle that little inch. Because I didn't think nothing about it. I thought well what is it. Maybe my um, my pajamas or something is irritable or something. You think of something like that. Or you think of your laundry detergent or your body wash and everything I use I've been using for years it never have um, affected me even the body washes that I use I've used them before at different times so they never bother me so finally I decided to call the doctor and or I had a, a call-in appointment 
and I mentioned it to the doctor and he did give me some cream for it however I had a call back today to let him know that the cream actually intensifies the burning so these little spots you guys that you see like this is basically from just like this burning sensation I've been having in my legs and um, I don't know if it's related to the varicose veins I don't know um, this is all new to me because my mom didn't have varicose veins, okay? So I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know of anybody in my family that has varicose veins. Um, but anyways, these little spots that y'all see on my legs, like these little spots, um, I don't, I'm trying to wonder what's going on because all I would do is like kind of itch my leg and I stop itching my leg, like... I actually have put on some um, oil on my legs now and that's been happening um, the last few days so I really I don't have the right proper like I don't have a stool where I can get up close and show y'all but I'm pretty sure most of you that have watched like my videos like some of you that ask me about this sees these little spots on my legs so yeah i'm talking to a doctor about that and i hope and pray that this doesn't scar up my legs <laughs> because i absolutely love my my you know my skirts and all and i'm going to continue to wear my skirts i bought up a bunch of them because i can wear some of them in the summer and one thing about me you guys is even if i do have a few scars from this I'm still going to sport dresses. I'm still going to wear skirts. I, I'm not going to cover up my legs just because I have a few scars on my legs. I mean, you can get scar cream. You can even get prescription scar creams. And that's probably what I'm going to do is get a prescription for these scars. But and, but first, I got to get to the root of what's going on. Like, my legs would burn. They've been burning. And then I have this burning, itchy sensation. It's like, it's just like desperate, itching, like sensation. And I haven't, I've stopped like itching my, my leg because I noticed that I'm just going to scar up my legs, right? So I just get up and put on um, my oil lately. And I do have a, uh, what is it, that cream that's for scars. Um, I can't think of it. I don't have it. But I do have a cream that's for scars as well. So I've been using it too. So to help out with the scarring. Because I don't want it to scar. But yeah you guys. I mean that is what it is. And like I'm waiting on the nurse to give me a call back. And see if they're going to like. I wanted the nurse to come out and check my legs. And then they may do that just like let someone else like take a look at my legs and maybe they can give me the proper cream that will soothe this sensation that's going on but just I just want you all to know that I do have an appointment with the vascular doctor to check out my legs um the varicose vein okay and um and see what treatments I can do for that okay and so, and then of course, I don't know if this burning cessation is pertaining to the varicose veins. Maybe, uh, possibly. I know that varicose veins can cause swelling too, you guys. So it's a lot of things. I haven't really researched varicose veins, but I have researched like uh, inflammation a lot. I've got notes over there. Like I basically go through the internet and just research things pertaining to the health. But I really haven't uh, did any research on varicose veins because, like I said, my mama didn't have varicose veins. I don't know if anybody in the family has varicose veins. I haven't heard of it. I don't think nobody do. But that's what I have is varicose veins starting to, you know. And I just hope, I, I'm trying to take care of it right now because I know what varicose veins look like. I've known many people who have I've worked with other people that has had, uh, back in the day, that had varicose veins. And I know what they can look like when they're just like, 
you don't get treatment for it or whatever because sometimes there's no treatment or you don't have to have treatment but I guess uh, I don't know I'm not a doctor I'm not gonna speak about you don't have to have treatment let me take that back I'm not a doctor I'm not a specialist um, I just have to talk to a doctor and specialist about it um, and see what treatment I can get for it before it gets out of hand because I know I worked with a few women back in the day that did have varicose veins and it could get very bad on the legs um, so that's what's going on and I just want to inform you all that I am I do have appointment coming on the first week of March very soon in about two weeks I think yeah about two weeks maybe a little bit shorter but it's it's coming up you know the first uh week of march and i like i said this burning sensation and how these little i think these little i think little bumps are developing and i think that's just from me maybe scratching it for a little while because i was scratching it for a while until i realized wait a minute this is not normal what is going on okay that might have been what caused the little spots on my legs um, but I do not scratch my legs anymore I actually put a oil on it and a cream on it for the scarring okay and so that's what's going on with that and then I told y'all about the scar right here um, a little bit above my breast here okay I told y'all that I had surgery and that 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 cut here is from the surgery like that is from the surgery there and so and then I had one other <laughs> one other surgery and that was me I had a c-section okay I ain't got to talk about that but outside of that that is it you guys I hope I answered your questions and like I said I'm learning more about my health um like y'all are concerned about my health um like i said ever since i moved into this apartment my health has been like crazy so many things have happened y'all wouldn't believe how many specialist trips i've been to um how many uh, doctor's appointments i've had even er visits you would not believe it but yes you do if you see my eye and my eye condition you will know that i have been through a lot okay and i'm not afraid to say it it is the truth so i'm learning about my health as i move my ass out of this apartment because this apartment is nothing but pure wickedness and evil i never came down with a lot of health issues and I've never gained like this much weight I've gained more I've gained more weight in this apartment this time than I did back in the day with the water retention so um I'm telling you the truth I, I stepped into this apartment and I just started having all kind of health issues it's wickedness and evil and I have to say this and and first thing y'all gonna think when I say wickedness evil evil y'all thinking about paranormal I'm telling you it's people okay there is people in the attic that I hear okay I'm gonna leave it as that um so when I tell y'all that people are actually some of the things that you may be experiencing could come from people it's an evil world y'all it's an evil world and I just want y'all to know that some things is just not paranormal it is humans that's doing these evil wicked things just saying it okay and so I am learning my health I got appointments you guys and I really thank y'all for being concerned and caring and I really appreciate it because it makes me feel good knowing that someone do notice something or um y'all really do care for me and really want the best for me so i thank all of you and just know that i am also taking a look at myself every day i'm checking myself while i'm in this like in this place yes i'm checking myself every day and trust me when i don't feel good i do go see 
uh, professional um, treatment, which is the doctor. And yeah, just letting y'all know that, you know, just know that I'm doing all that I can. But more than anything, I pray and I believe in prayer, okay? And I know that ain't nothing too hard for God to handle um, and to fix okay and so just knowing that and, and having my faith in God um, I feel good okay I feel good even though I see all this I feel good and I know that there is a change I see a change I've lost some weight that's a good thing um, yeah so y'all what else can I say thank y'all for watching I appreciate y'all for watching and if you like this video um, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to comment and also if you want to share this video but yeah you guys I will see y'all in my next video which will be my fashion Friday video and yeah you guys take care of yourselves out there and i love y'all and give me a hug come on <laughs> i thank y'all bye bye <laughs>